stroke is probably the most time sensitive illness. If you don't have a system in place that's ready to respond immediately to that with great efficiency, uh, you're never going to be able to deliver that kind of, uh, kind of care to the stroke patient. The CMS grant was uh, what's called the CMS uh, Innovations Grant. The idea behind it was show us how uh, we can give better quality health care at a lower cost. So our, our model was built around stroke care specifically. What we tried to do was to develop a system that would look across that continuum of care. So the first piece really was the telemedicine piece. Sounds like we'll need to we'll need to transfer him, won't we? We are the hub for 20 telestroke sites, and that has been the driving factor behind our increase in volume of 400 percent over a period of three years. Through our program, we're able to examine patients live through a camera and use technology to look at the patient's images so that we can better treat them. Our team will assemble here uh, and be ready to receive the patient. We have an endovascular team on standby 24-7, 365 in case the patient needs an endovascular procedure. And our stroke neurologists are available to see the patients in the emergency department. We all know that time is brain, so the sooner that we get our patients treated, and the sooner that we identify the problem, the better the outcomes are going to be. We have a system in the hospital that we call Stroke Central. There really is a group of RNs and advanced practice nurses who will uh, help us manage those patients. The whole idea of setting up a collaborative unit was to have multiple eyes on a patient, uh, uh, from specialists to specialize in very unique aspects of uh, neurological care. Uh, with many eyes on the patient, if there's complications that arise are picked up earlier and rectified earlier, and if we can, the whole idea behind the unit is to prevent complications uh, in the first place from arising. I'm very grateful for Dr. Vidal, his team at Ashner. A few months ago, uh, like any other day, I just started feeling weird. Um, vision kind of went weird, like I was in a tunnel. My friend who I was with tried to ask me a question and I couldn't respond. And that's when she said, are you okay? And I couldn't respond. We identified her symptoms as a stroke. We were able to document that she had a large vessel occlusion. One of the blood vessels in her brain was plugged up. And we were able to uh, get her to treatment in a timely manner in order to restore the flow to her brain to minimize the damage to her brain tissue. And it was actually a very good recovery. I have no disabilities. I can speak, I can walk, I can use my hands. Uh, I can't be any more grateful. Uh, the rehabilitation component becomes very important after the patient's been stabilized. Most of the innovations that we've done with stroke recovery, and there have been quite a few, have been in how we deliver it. Our patients, when they, when they leave us, they're still part of our program. We send a team out uh, once a month to visit them with a very targeted set of programs uh, attempting to prevent them coming back to the hospital with a complication and coming back with a readmission for their stroke. If you look at uh, the outcomes after stroke management at Oshina, it's the best in the region. We've gotten awards with regards to best neuroscience programs in the region, best in the states, and I think that's because it's not one department of neurosurgery or department of neurology or physical medicine and rehabilitation can do it alone. It's the collaboration, it's the comprehensive approach to care, it's the fact that people talk to each other and with a common goal of getting the best outcome for the patient. At Auctioner, we look at ourselves as innovators, so we try to participate in clinical trials that will help improve the care and outcome of stroke patients or patients with intracerebral hemorrhages. Currently, we're participating in trials that extend the treatment window for intravenous lytics for stroke up to nine hours. We're also trying new techniques like cooling the patients or aiming at lower blood pressures to prevent worsening of intracerebral hemorrhages. We've been lucky to have people that really want to come to a place and build programs and work collaboratively with different departments to make sure that any patient that comes to Oshina is taken care in a way that they are getting the best available care anywhere in the world. And I think that the best is yet to come as we continue to develop our program and expand our horizons and expand our reach into treating different populations.